See, I I have a face. Hello and welcome back. I'm Will, I'm the host of The Bald Book Geek, and this is my head. Hi. How are all of you? I rarely go on camera on this channel because it's quicker, but I thought I might as well do it today. Uh, we need to talk about this, and I'm going to say this, I made this video about Pokemon TCG Pockets balancing issues and the problems that it's having. Some people missed the point of that video. And as I'm going to say, I love the game. I think the game is brilliant, but... <laughs> There's, there's a lot of things to unpack here, and I want to talk about it. So, one per person put, I think it's just symptom of only having free sets, free card sets out, which is true. And the available build deck plus small deck size, you see a lot of the same cards over and over. Especially true when there's trainer cards that are only like four or five of them can be used outside of a very specific niche or event. That's true. The trainer cards are unbelievably limited. There is no disruption. There is nothing that you can swap your opponent's Pokemon around, but there's absolutely no disruption. And that is a problem. And if you can't disrupt your opponent, I'll pick on the old game, energy removal. Basic, easy, disruption card, take energies off your opponent's card and make them discard them. Some disruption, I think, would really help the game and it would balance out a lot of the game. Misty is BS, especially when going first and already adding energies to your Pokemon pool. Yes. The Misty card is a pain, I hate it, and that's a whole thing. Now there's a great comment here, but some of the replies got a little bit mean, but it's a great comment. I really had a good time playing that until this with this game until I started trying to play other people online. Car, uh, in the game you've got Articuno EX and Moltres, uh, Mewtwo EX and Moltres EX, I'm going to breeze over the whole thing, but... It, they can just swarm you. And then with Moltres EX, as they pointed out, you can or she, I'm not entirely sure. Cheating Zubat. Hi. Great comment. Please come back. EX, Moltres EX can literally stack energies into the team. Good luck finding win winning anything if you have that. It's a nightmare. There's no training. Like I pointed out early, there's no energy drain, nothing to pay. Uh, it's There's nothing to disrupt your opponent's game. And if it's a disruption player, that's kind of annoying. But some disruption, some more trainers, cards, some things to help balance it out. And another comment here was, um, basically, without, again, reading the whole thing, they basically played a game, the guy had all EX Pokemon, and you can basically fill a deck with EX Pokemon, a few items, and off you go. Then the condescension come in. <sighs> You clearly didn't pay more than five games, friend. I'm very active, up to 25 wins on the PvP event. The 60% of the time you're going to play against Meta. They're Meta for... They're spelt wrong. Meta for a reason. If you aren't a fan of Meta existing card games, now it's time for you to note right out there because the core part of the genre. You're going to absolutely win. You just have actually to play the game. Eey. That, again, missing the point of what's been said in the video, the Meta of this game has descended into the meta of the physical game or TCG live, ra the actual game rather than what this was meant to be, which as they said was a clean sweep. Complete clean start for the Pokemon trading card game with a unique rule set and unique way of playing. The meta has fallen into big basic Pokemon and you can stack your deck with the EX cards and just pff, vamoose. That's it. And that's really annoying. And it, it does break the game because there's no rules to control it. Uh, this other commenter who, I, again, I'm not going to read the whole thing. But you do have some points about the broken cards. For example, the water type deck with the Misty Training card and the Pikachu deck that can ravage the whole PvP scene. They point out they've been playing the game and they're free to play and they're enjoying the hell out of it like I am. But y'all just being too impatient. Yes, they're adding new content, but the content isn't changing the cards. <laughs> That's what they point out. And, oh, in the case of the bad pool raids, I haven't spent a single dime on the game, gotten all three of the immersive cards of every pack. It's all about patience and consistency. Yeah, it is, but that's different for everyone. Your pool rates, what you get from booster packs, it's like buying a booster pack in the store. We're not all going to have the same pool rates unless you buy like a Japanese set of booster packs. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's random. 
and I do think the condescension in that comment was frustrating. Another, this is a really good comment actually, and I'm going to point this out. They can fix the game easily. Limit an EX slash Pokemon Pacific a deck. No two Mewtwo's, for example. And Poke Powers that need to be unique effects. So you can't cheese them with two Pokemon if you're using uh, Guadavar Poke Power. You can't use the unique PK Power again for the rest of the turn. Like something in Yu-Gi-Oh! directly, like the trainer cards, like Professor Oak, you can't play two Professor Oaks on the same turn. That's true. You can't play two Professor Oaks, but you can play as many Pokeballs as you want. They need to limit those cards, and they need to limit the X cards. One per deck, I think, is more than enough. Because, again, you can make a deck and just... Um, you can just pack it with the X cards and you're good to go, or high-powered basics. And again, we've fallen into the meta and the way that the actual card game plays. Can let's not let's not go down that route again. And I love the way that it plays, but a lot of the comments, especially the one about consistency and patience, misses the point. Now, my whole thing was with the game. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a great way, but they need to implement rules and fix a few things. Like I said, like that comment said, like I've said, no two EX Pokemon. Pokemon with unique effects. Limit certain trainer cards. Add more trainer cards and disruption to the game. Make it a little more challenging. Because I did a test where I made a deck in the game out of EX cards. Tons of EX cards. And I basically won 99% of the time. In the time I ran that deck, and I, did, I sat there for a good two hours just battling. I lost once. And that was because of me messing up. So I think it just needs a little bit of a fix. It just needs a little tightening up and getting those limits on certain cards, EX, Pokemon and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, if you're poor rates and you aren't getting great luck you're going to struggle. Like, the event PvP for me is proving to be frustratingly difficult. No if, buts, or maybes. It's frustratingly difficult because I'm going up against decks and other people have said it online that are nothing but EX Pokemon. So how are you supposed to play and how are you supposed to do it? You can't... I do get that this game is not aimed at TCG players. I get it. But something needs to be fixed and sort out some problems and stuff like that in the game. It's it's not that hard to do. It's it's easy enough to deal with. And I just think it needs a bit of work. That's all. And I think they could do it quite easily. And uh, it just needs some limits. It needs stuff put in. It needs to limit certain cards. Because literally, if you can win 99% of the time with just a deck of EX Pokemon, and when I say a deck, I mean literally five, there's a problem. And falling into the trap of the meta they were trying to get away from has proven to be frustrating. But I love the game, I'm going to keep playing it, but they just need to do some fixes and deal with some of the raw issues and just tighten things up. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to be doing more of this content on both this channel and my uh, second channel. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, you'll see, I, I have a face.